Hey, it's time for another Blu-ray collection update. These are all my Anchor Bay Blu-rays that I owned as of the end of 2015. Yes, that is right. So, starting off something that you've already seen from the Scream Factory collection, that is the massive, you know, probably one of the best <laughs> Blu-ray sets ever put out, and that is the Halloween Complete Collection. You'll see it as Scream Factory, Anchor Bay, because, you know, Scream Factory got the rights to a bunch. Anchor Bay had the rights to the other ones, so they had to get together and partner up to be able to create an entire collection. It's the only way. They had to come together as friends and work out a deal. So, awesome. Everybody should have this. Um, or if you can't get this or it's too expensive now, then, you know, at least try and track down the smaller version of that. Of course, one of the films from that <laughs> um, that I own was an Anchor Bay release, and that is the original Halloween. Now this is, and you may notice, this was originally released as, I believe it was a Digibook, um, but I'm not a big Digibook collector, so when it came out in, you know, normal Blu-ray case, format other than the you know it doesn't have a it doesn't have the digi book section I don't think I could be wrong no well it does have the book it does have the book so the, there really is other than the packaging I don't think there's too much of a difference between the two releases but yeah as soon as I saw it I was like I want to get it of course that was before that big Halloween set came out but whatever I'm cool with it <laughs> I don't mind it. it it's the only you know it's for that artwork right you got to get that artwork Next up, we've got, oh yes, Sharktopus. Yes, you want sharks mating with octopuses, creating thing, monster stuff. It's Roger Corman um, at his best. Um, he's only the producer, of course. He didn't direct it, but still, it's classic Corman. Uh, next up, a film that uh, if you love killer babies, you're going to love Grace. Um, independent little gem that really it, it really works um, you know not shot on a lot you know on anything fancy it's it's just it looks good the story's great uh, killer babies watch it grace um, next up and uh, yeah anchor bay not known for animation but Dante's Inferno. I believe this was based off of a um, video game. Um, and Anchor Bay uh, teamed up with Manga. They uh, started distribu distributing uh, the manga releases. As far as I know, this is a manga release. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't, I can't remember. Is this from... Yeah, Dante's Inferno. It was a video game. So this is a animated movie version of the video game. Gotta remember these things, so... Uh, next up, um, one, a film that it, it looks interesting, um, it has a very distinct style to it, um, and some people love it, some people are meh, but you know, you gotta, you gotta check it out, cause it isn't bad, um, so be your own judge, and that is And Soon the Darkness. Okay, so if you like your serial killers, this next one's for you. Uh, it's from the producer of Monster, um, and it's the shocking true story of one of America's most notorious serial killers. It's called Dear Mr. Gacy. Um, next up, sporting the old Anchor Bay logo. This is a prequel to a video game, uh, again released in conjunction with manga, and that is uh, Dead Space Downfall. Now, if you've played the Dead Space, uh, or watched the, if you've played the Dead Space games, you should definitely check this out. Um, goes together almost hand and foot you just put them together they're really great and like I said it has the old Anchor Bay logo right there so it's, yeah, I think that's focusing okay the old sailboat and I will show you what the new one looks like in case you didn't know um, yes 
this is a little brilliant gem. It is so simple in its undertaking and yet so effective. It's let us pray. Um, yes, definitely. I do recommend checking this one out. Um, there is the new logo. Next up, one of my favorite films, uh, prob possibly my favorite film from the year this was released. I can't remember, um, but I do highly recommend it. Um, the acting in this is just amazing, and I don't think it gets um, enough recognition. It's a film by uh, Xavier Jens, and that is The Divide. Um, yeah, it is, it's got some disturbing things going on in it, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, okay, so you want Dominic Monaghan, you want Larry Fessenden, Angus Grimm, rest in peace, and Ron Perlman in a movie, then you want I Sell the Dead. That's right, this is a Larry Fessenden picture. You either like his stuff or you don't. Some of it's good, some of it's not so much. Next up, we've got from, this is a, an older film. Yeah, I guess, well, Anchor Bay still putting out some of the older stuff, and that is The Entity. Yeah, gotta love that. I don't remember when this movie was made. 1990s or so? Probably mid to late 1990s. Uh, yes, an animated double feature uh, originally put out on DVD, direct-to-video, in relation to the movies that came out and that is Hellboy animated the films uh, Sword of Storms and Blood and Iron so it's these two films they're released as separate DVDs but you know you can fit two on a blu-ray more space more movies um, here we have a IndyCan Entertainment slash Anchor Bay um, combination release, and that is the sequel, Grave Encounters 2. I believe it or not, I have not seen Grave Encounters yet. I believe it was only available on DVD, and I have not, I've never, I don't even know if I've seen it in stores, but Grave Encounters 2, you know, out on Anchor Bay, got a wider release, easier to find. One of the best Anchor Bay releases out there um, of a film that is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, I mean, Quentin Tarantino loves it. And we're talking Battle Royale. This is the complete collection, uh, three disc Blu-ray plus bonus DVD collector set. Um, it came out in two different formats. I think one was with a box and, and, and such and inserts. This one, again, like I said, it's regular case. Um, you know, it's a bigger case. It has all the stuff and all the, you know, stuff, whatever. Um, but yeah, if you're into Japanese film at all, you gotta get this. This is awesome. Um, it's, yeah, groundbreaking. Next up is a Raven Banner Anchor Bay uh, conglomeration, and that is Cabin Fever, Patient Zero. So this is, um, yeah, I think it's a, I don't remember, zombie outbreak or something, maybe? I don't know. Either way, I remember seeing the trailers to this over and over and over again, and you know what? It took me a while to get it, but now I, I do own it, so there you go. And finally, finally, last but not least, we've got the, again, a Raven Banner Anchor Bay uh, combo release of the Canadian werewolf buddy cop movie, Wolf Cop. There you go, complete with slipcover um, and sequels coming out soon. So check it out. Some people love it, some people not so much. There you go, Wolf Cop on Blu-ray. So... Yeah, I don't have 
despite the fact that Anchor Bay used to be like one of the go-to places for me um, when it was DVD days, um, in terms of Blu-rays, it has not been quite so much that so. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't have enough. I have quite a few. <laughs> There you go, my Anchor Bay Blu-ray collection as of the end of 2015. Thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.